And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a spooky Scion deck. The spooky part is that we are playing all Shadow Isles to go along with Scion being our only Noxus card uh, because we want a lot of Shadow Isles cards because we want Wraithcaller to always hit that Allegiance because we are a Mist Wraith deck. We have Wraithcaller, Risen Mist, and regular old Mist Wraiths. So we're going to be getting a lot of power with the Mist Wraiths. And of course, the more power, the better for Scion's level up. Right, so when you're putting like five twos, six twos in play, like those are good for Scion's level up. We're gonna have that, um, and we're just gonna kind of be curving out and have a bunch of fearsome stuff. We'll also have like Mask Mother, Dark Water Scourge combo in here, Arachnoid Horror being fearsome as well. Um, we'll have Oblivious Islander make some things cost less. Oblivious Islander is pretty awesome with both of our top end cards. We're gonna have the Spectral Matron plus Scion combo. Like this combo, like if you have Matron put in Scion. Now, especially if it's leveled up Scion, which it, it should be at that point, you have, um, it's ephemeral and it has the last breath, you get your Scion returned. Well, that's also works really well with Oblivious Islander. You can make your Scion ephemeral, so you get your Scion down around earlier also. It's last, you know, it attacks, it's last breath, you get your Scion returned. So that's a, a nice combo there too. We're also going to have Atrocity plus Scion, where, you know, we can take our 10 power Scion and, and Sacrifice it, deal 10 damage to our opponent's Nexus, and then put it, and then rally, and then, you know, get our Scion returned and rally. So we have that combo also. Our removal, we're going to be using Despair. Because we're going to be real aggressive and everything, we don't care as much about our Nexus health, because hopefully we can outrace them. And so this Despair just kind of kills everything, right? Our opponents play more expensive champions. Uh, no matter what they play, you know, this is just four mana, slow speed, vengeance. So we're going to take that. Stalking Shadows for extra Mist Wraiths, or to find, to go search for Spectral Matron, or find extra, like, Wraith Callers or anything, Mist Wraiths, all that kind of stuff, um, or find the Scourge plus Mask Mother combo, plus the Scourge Mask Mother combo, having that lifesteal, um, does help with the Despairs also, and then we can have, like, Callista be attacking and putting in either Mist Wraiths, or attacking and putting in Dark Water Scourges, right, like, we have some great stuff for Callista to attack and put into play once we level up Callista, our other champion. And so let's get to it. It's Spooky Scion for Spooktober. We're playing it on over in normal, but I could definitely see this being a ranked deck, just like our previous deck. All right, we got our combo. We're going to mulligan the atrocity, but I'm going to keep everything else. Because, like, Despair is really good against both champions, right? Because, like, Lulu and Poppy are certainly worth, you know, three life or four life to get rid of. Oblivious Islander would be a good card to draw to reduce the cost of this combo. <clears throat> Not only get us the 2-1 blocker, but then just make it so we can play this combo on, like, round four instead of round five. All right, Sai Goomba, take care. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. We got our spooky deck. Spooky board. Spooktober. So that probably just trades with the... Fleet Feather Tracker, but alright, that's, you know, how it goes. And that's not a bad card for me to kill with the Despair, either. But yeah, we have to we have to kill Poppy this round. Today's the day I find that hero. Mm. 
Despair just works against everything. Yeah, this is a sweet card. Good versus everything. I can even I can even have my mask mother eat this mask mother and you know make a nine power life steal also. Alright, so they kill Callista. That's fine. Clissy, you did your job. How are you doing? 19? Wait, they're they're like attacking with the stuff and letting me block? Cool. Let me gain 7 again. That's because they're thinking they're just going to make more of these. Hungry, hungry owl cats. Twenty-five. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops in your head. I put it. Right in now they don't show that they can block. Fearsome. We can go for fearsome lethal. Fearsome lethal? No sharp sights? Fearsome lethal! You're too spooky. Well, that's a good point, that despairing the 1-2 would give them an owl cat. That's a good, good point. Buy. So prop maybe a go hard deck with the landmark. I'm gonna send the despairs back. Look for a one drop or a two drop. Okay. So we can Islander the Scion, sure is dark, eh? and then curve out. Sure you do. I don't know, is it even worth blocking Elise? I want stuff to die after Callista. But like maybe I just block here. Can we just go for racing them? Power. It's an interesting Risen Mists right now. I 
Then wait till next round for the Scourge Mask Mother combo. Just get that open attack going. I think Mask Mother counts as two, not seven, as far as leveling up Scion is concerned. And they've had some good, good cards. Uh, that was a good turn for them, good answers. Twenty-three. So we'll see. I think this is only twenty-five, but hopefully not. Ooh, it counted. It counted it as seven. Okay, so it goes to thirty. That's not bad. And this is kind of the matchup that we need our Stockton Shadows in. So they go to 19 if I do nothing, or if I Atrocity, they go down to 12. So it is worth a decent amount of damage. I think we have to wait, though. Alright, we need, we need Spectral Matron. We need Stockton Shadows, or we need Scion. Those are the three cards that we need to draw. Spectral Matron. Scion. Stockton Shadows. How big are you? You'll be a 5-2? Right? Like, that. this will be able to trade with Thai? Okay, Stockton Shadows. Oh, really? Islander? It's like the worst hit. That was our worst hit. We really need Spectral Matron, because then we get lots of Scions. have had answers. Answers. Oh wait, I can't even do that plus atrocity, can I? I can't do both those. Yeah, not too surprised there. Good hand opponent. GG's. That was a really bad stalking shadows for us.
everything I wanted to do, they had a good answer for. I think we could do okay in that matchup in the long haul. You know, it just didn't... Their cards lined up well, but I think we could do okay. I could see sending the Risen Mist back. Ugh. Man, Matron, you would have been so good last game. For many rounds, Matron would have been amazing. Trades with the 3 1, and now our Bark Beast is a 3 3. So that's good. Perfect curve 1 2 3 for them so far. My pass, do they pass? That answer is no. So we get to choose, basically we get to choose how this card blocks instead of them choose. Um, the Endless Devout's the most valuable card, but I kind of don't want to give them the sarcophagus right away, I guess. Right, so like, they want, the, the earlier they get the sarcophagus, the better for them. Atrocity. Yeah, maybe just atrocity. Deck is really performing well. Alright, how close are you? You're at 25. So this is actually only 9, so you actually don't level up if I go Spectral Matron into Scion. They actually don't level up next round. So I kinda I kinda need to mask mother this thing. But I wonder if I can sneak in six points of damage first and like they don't block and then I get to mask mother. That would be ideal. I don't know. Can I sneak that in? 
I kind of feel like I can sneak that in. Oh, wow. Okay, so they're just going to open attack now. So that's game. Great hand, opponent. Really, really impressive. Very good curve and everything. That was an impressive Ziggs hand. GG's. If we had one of the 3-3 three, three life steals to go along with our our mask mother, I think, you know, I think we win that, but we didn't have one. This would have been difficult for them to deal with the 7-7. Seven, seven, or at least we would have been able to stay alive. You know, that would have bought us another couple rounds. And then our matron scion take over. Looks like we're going to have a mirror match. I think they're mono sh shadow owl, sorry. And so that probably means that they're going to be a mystery deck also. It's a good opener. We do need to draw Mask Mother. But I have faith that we can draw Mask Mother. I definitely like Despair to take out Viego. Right, like you have to kill Viego. You know, like that's a card that you have to kill. So the question was, isn't Mono Shadow Isles bad? I don't know. I don't like... I'm not one that, that just necessarily labels things like that. Like, just says, that's good, that's bad. It's all, you know, like, what happens in the game. And, you know, different decks can match up well against different things. Or you draw a better or worse part of your deck. All that kind of stuff. I did mean to play that Oblivious Islander, but I was kind of talking. That's my, that's my bad. Speaking of bad... Should have already had that Islander in play. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. You certainly know you're not missing your allegiance. Find the beginning. Nice combination. We can take six considering our next time that our mass mother hits we gain seven back. We can fairly easily take that. And it looks like we missed our allegiance. We only have three non-allegiance cards in our entire deck. And so we obviously know what card is on top of our deck.
Mirror match. We got us. Good game. We've run into like our last couple opponents. I don't necessarily think have better decks than us, but they're they've had better hands and they've they've done better. But I think that we could win, you know, over fifty percent of the time. But they've just had very good hands. So GGs. That's how it goes. Sometimes you have, you know, sometimes you have the better hand. Sometimes your opponents do. Yeah, opponent played it very well. They did exactly what they should have done with the cards in their hand. And they got the win. So Riven, Vi up next. Like, this Matron-Scion combo is awesome, but we have not survived here recently long enough for it. That really hurt missing the... Missing our Wraith Caller really hurt, because then our then our missed Wraith was only a 2-2 instead of a 3-2. That was really unfortunate that, you know, we had a, you know, 90% chance of hitting or whatever, and we missed. And therefore, we couldn't block, and, you know, that was pretty bad. But, yep, card games be like that. That's why you go mono Shadow Isles, so you're 100% to hit. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Runeterra is very balanced around the RNG. You know, like it's as far as other card games go, they do a great job with it. But it's still, you know, it's still a card game. You're still going to have uh, games where your opponents draw really well, like the last two. That's going to happen. But I've been impressed with. But what I've wanted to say is that I've been pretty impressed with our deck. I think that our deck. Both broken. Honestly, could be pretty good. It's a trade I want to make. Okay. Again, we're we're over ninety percent to hit. Three out of thirty-two miss. Twenty-nine out of thirty-two hit. Twice, twice in a row, like two ninety percenters in a row. <laughs> the odds of missing, if 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 it's exactly ninety percent, the odds of missing two ninety percent in a row is one out of a hundred. You have a one percent chance of missing two ninety percents in a row. So you all just saw a one out of a hundred right there. Okay, gonna get rid of the Vi first. The Vi's a big problem. They've done a good job having their champions. They have had their champions. But now this ribbon can get super big. Uh, 
how it was quick attack. Cost of war. Uh, worst one to see. I guess that's the cost of war. Can't exactly take sixteen. It's two get excited's gone. feeling that's game over. They have to have yet another get excited, but for them making that play, that's what it feels like. Yeah, they just have all three. Man, we had some terrible luck here. By us having terrible luck, I mean our opponents had some incredible luck here. Again, if we if we don't miss that that nine out of ten here again, you know, both of them. If we don't miss it here, we have that extra five two. Like they're all five twos. Like they have to block their ribbon. Their ribbon's dead. You know, like if we if we don't miss that that uh, wraith caller that game, I don't think we lose. <laughs> yeah, and, and then they had all the get excited. Man, some terrible, terrible luck in these games. Um, that's how it goes, though. You know, I guess that that's how it goes. That's how life is sometimes. So I think our deck was good, but it was just just ran into some really, really hot opponents. Every opponent had, like, if you'd think, like, all right, what's the best thing we could have? We got it. Um, you could you could definitely play another, if you want another Nexus Healing card to go along with the Dark Water Scourge to help out the Despairs. You know, the, atro the Atrocity is, like, the one, the one extra card that you really don't need, that you can play whatever you want. You want to Grasp the Undying instead of the Atrocity, go ahead. You want a, a Withering Whale. You want... Um, Piercing Darkness to Drain 5. All that sounds great. You know, like, whatever you want instead of the Atrocity. The Atrocity didn't really help us in those games. And there were def uh, different times, like, where they had, like, some something that would was killing us. I would probably go Piercing Darkness myself if we would replace that. I think that would be the card that I would recommend. Um, but, yeah, you could go Grasp, could go lots of other things. You know, you can also play. If you want to go low to the ground, you can go your Black Spear... Um, or Vile Feast, you know, you can go with stuff like that also that kind of gets like a, a little bit of removal and, and a blocker. So, you know, whatever whatever you want to do with this slot. You can play Harrowing also if you want, but I don't think it's too necessary, but you can definitely play Harrowing. You know, like this, this is a flex slot that you can play whatever card you want. But I, I liked the other, you know, like the other 13 or all three ofs, and I really liked everything else. Like I liked how this, this deck felt. Um, but yeah, you can figure out whichever one spell you want. Uh, definitely a spell here, but yeah, whatever spell you want uh, that works the best for you. Feel free to put it in. All right, uh, but that's going to be it here for Spooky Scion. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and uh, let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully, uh, if you try it yourself, hopefully you have a lot better luck. Because I think I, I would be pretty confident in running this back and going 4-1. and one. I really would. I think that we could could definitely go 4-1 with this deck. Um, but, you know, we went 1-4. That's that's how 
uh, the variance happens with just five games. Sometimes uh, it goes the variance goes well for you. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, but that's it for Spooky Scion in Spooktober. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.